and I am back. Okay, that was a really long name. Um, I am back to do a review for Holland and Barrett as requested by Sadie Marie over here in our Using Essential Oil Safely Facebook group. So let me click over here. Oop, okay, so this goes to a lavender oil. Let's see if they have... Okay, so this is a company that sells a lot of things. Whoa, okay. I have not been to this website before. Um, so let me see if I can find where they have like their list of essential oils. Probably not listed under vitamins and supplements. Probably not under food and drink. Sports nutrition, free form, natural beauty. Here we go. Aromatherapy and home pure essential oils. Okay, so they do also have blends, so that is good to know. I will have to go back and check out their blends as well. Um, so let's see. It looks like they have a mixture of brands on their website. Um, I was trying to do or request links to specific brands and not just websites that have a bunch of different brands. This is supposed to be very brand specific. Um, but I did not check these out ahead. Like I said, I have not clicked on these links ahead because I want you guys to get the same sort of reaction and feedback to be genuine, you know, for the first time. So it looks like Mi Aroma is one of the companies that um, is sold on here. So let's just check out a couple of them. This is Eucalyptus Essential Oil. I'm just seeing if they have any sort of safety information to let you know. Okay, so this is a generic um, list of for external use only, do not use undiluted on skin, apply to unbroken, irritated skin, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is really to cover their butt. Um, it's not very reflective of the specific safety information that you need to know for eucalyptus specifically should be avoided under age 10 years old. And that is not indicated here at all. Um, I'm sure this company that sells all of these things is not, does not probably have an aromatherapist on staff to make sure that all of this information is safe and accurate. They are most likely relying on the Mi Aroma brand themselves to see, um, for that information to include on their website. So let me see if their lemon essential oil is listed as phototoxic. Um, it doesn't... Okay, do not use before exposure to the sun or sunbed. So that is good to see. Now, was that also on their eucalyptus? Because I didn't notice it on the eucalyptus. Let me go back. Perhaps it was there and I didn't notice it. Okay, so that is not here in the eucalyptus. So that was definitely an addition that they made for lemon specifically, which is good. That's what I like to see. Um, grapefruit as well is phototoxic. So let's see if they have that over here too. They do say do not use before exposure to the sun or sunbed. I like to see more specific information than that though. Um, for example, you can use it as long as you don't go over... 4%, 4% um, and above, then you are at risk for phototoxicity, but at least they have that warning there, so that's good. Not trying to complain. Um, peppermint essential oil is safe for ages six and above due to the menthol content. So let's see if they mention that here. So they do have keep out of the reach of children, um, but again, this is listed on probably all or at least most of their essential oils and whenever you see the same generic paragraph listed on all the essential oils you kind of tune it out you don't take it too seriously because you know they have to cover their butt and you aren't really looking at this as you really have to keep it away from children because you know they all say that you're welcome monica you are welcome so let's see what else they have here. I'm going to do a couple more from the Mi Aroma brand 
And then it looks like they have other brands here as well. So I will click on, well, you know what? That's probably good for now for that brand. Let me see what other brands they have here. So they have Holland and Barrett. So it looks like they have their own brand. Tea Tree Essential Oil really does not have um, safety issues. You know, that's usually not one that I need to look at to see if they have safety issues. Tea Tree Lavender. Let's see what other things they have on the next page. Okay, so Holland and Barrett, so their own brand of clove bud essential oil. Let's see what sort of safety information they have here. So they do have their own brand of essential oils. So, I mean, they could be doing white labeling, um, but companies that have their own brand of essential oils, they really should have an aroma aromatherapist on staff as well to make sure that their information is safe and accurate. And yeah, so this is the same generic paragraph. I am not, um, I am not actually seeing anything warning about, um, that, that it's an anticoagulant, that, um, it's a blood thinner. It's recommended to actually use in a bath and disperse with your hand. You always want to make sure when adding to the bath that you dilute first, um, two drops to 10 mil. So that would be a 1% dilution. Clove bud needs a 0.5% dilution. So that is going over topical max for that. So let's see what else they have. So let me see if I can find any more of their brand essential oils on this page. Um, tea tree. Let's take a look at their next page. I want to be consistent on the brand. So let me just find a couple of more of essential oils that they have under their brand. I'm seeing Tisserand essential oils being sold here as well. We can talk about those too. Um, I'm looking for more of their brand essential oils. So do they only have a couple? Okay, so I'm only seeing, let me do this. They seem to only sell tea tree and clove. That's very interesting, okay? Let me just use this checkbox on the side here because that will make it a lot easier for me. The Dr. Organic brand I did see as well. Lavender, tea tree, um, those generally aren't worrisome as far as safety issues go. Um, Manuka Doctor, those, those are carrier oils. So I guess let's then take a look at the Tisserand brand. Um, which is no longer affiliated with Robert Tisserand, FYI. Let's take a look at Rosemary Essential Oil. Let's see if it says anything about for ages 10 and above. Let's see. It says do not use essential oils on children under 5 years old. This could be the generic safety information from the Tisserand Essential Oils. Um, because it does look like a little bit different wording. And it looks like they're recommending this for all essential oils, but rosemary specifically should be avoided under age 10. So it looks like these directions for the bath are adding four to six drops to 20 mil, which is four teaspoons of a blending oil or a carrier oil and swirl into water. So that's good. That would be good. But again, nothing under the age of 10 as far as rosemary. Let's see if they have phototoxicity flagged for bergamot on this one. Um, doesn't say that. So they are using the same generic um, paragraph for bergamot over here. So that's probably what they got from the Tisserand company to add over here. They're such a big company. They have so many essential oils. I'm sorry. They don't have a whole lot of essential oils, but they have so many other products too that this probably is not their main focus to make sure that they have thorough and extensive safety information provided. Now, peppermint essential oils shouldn't be used on children under the age of six. Um, and oddly enough, their recommendation for not using with children or under age five is not even here at all. And this one should be avoided under age six. Okay, so they need a little bit of work. Um, let's take a look at some of their blends. 
sorry, I'm sitting on my leg and it's starting to fall asleep. Ugh, I gotta move. All right, so let's take a look at some of their blends. Let's take a look at the Mia Aroma. Okay, so blended essential oils. These are still singles. Why does it say Neroli blended essential oil? What does that mean? Let me click on it. I wonder if they mean pre-diluted. That must be what they mean. Ingredients. Yep. So these are pre-diluted. So they aren't blends per se, but they're pre-diluted. So they're already in a carrier. Um, yeah, so Monica's asking, how do they know if it's okay for five or six or ten? Just a general question. Is there a scale? I don't know how they came up with their numbers, but I get my guidelines from essential oil safety, and those are reflected in my own resources, such as essential oil profiles and the essential oil safety files. Those are the guidelines that I use. So when it is flagged for, say, under age 10, that may have been chosen arbitrarily um, as a avoid in young children. And it's like, well, how about under age 10? Um, it really has to do with the, the health of the child and the strength and institution of the child. But generally, younger children have issues with really strong aromas. Think about it. Even spicy foods kids have problems with. Um, if you give your four-year-old a mint candy, they could be like, oh, mommy, that's too strong. You know, if you give a, a child that's young um, something with really strong flavors, they tend to not love that. Um, they're just not old enough to typically be able to handle that. When it comes to peppermint specifically with the menthol, it's really strong. Menthol mimics the cold receptors in the lungs and makes you feel like you're kind of, um, you can't breathe. Um, similarly, the high 1,8 cineol essential oils, such as eucalyptus and rosemary, and even cardamom can present a similar feeling. Um, so you just want to be super careful with children under the age of, you know, six and 10, depending on the essential oil, even elderly, um, elderly people can also have issues. And even topically, when we're talking topically, children have thinner skin, the elderly has thinner skin. So we definitely want to, um, make sure the elderly have thinner skin, sorry. We definitely wanna make sure that we are diluting well and using essential oils carefully because they are just, their immune systems, for children under the age of five, their immune system just isn't fully developed yet and we wanna make sure that they are strong enough to be handle, to handle these strong essential oils. So it's, it's specific um, depending on the essential oil, what sort of age um, is recommended or not. So great question, I hope that helps. So I am not seeing any more essential oils really listed here. It doesn't look like they have a ton, but if you are already purchasing from this, I think it's a UK brand, and you are already grabbing some of their other natural beauty, uh, food and drink, whatever supplements, and you wanna grab a couple of essential oils, I'm not saying anything to the quality. The quality may be fine, but I am saying that the safety information is lacking. So you definitely wanna make sure that you have your own resources like the ones I mentioned that you can find on ueoslibrary.com so that you know when you are purchasing the essential oils if they are gonna be safe for you if you're pregnant, um, around your children, around your pets, you wanna make sure that you are using them safely. You are welcome, Monica. Um, you use garlic oil on your grandkids' bottom of their feet because essential oils are so very concentrated. It's true, essential oils are very concentrated, so you want to make sure that you dilute them before use and that you are using them carefully. Awesome. If you have any questions about anything that I said, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. If you have questions about um, any of the other essential oils maybe I didn't click on, also leave your comments below and I will answer them as soon as I see them. Thanks, guys!